Ever feel like you're just drowning, absolutely drowning, in a sea of articles and research? Oh, yeah. You're there with your highlighter, you know, trying to pull out the important bits. Sure. But at the end of it, you're still not quite sure you've got the big picture. Yeah, it's like the information overload paradox, right? It really is. So much to learn and so little time. Exactly. And wouldn't it be amazing if there were a way to, I don't know, maybe make learning more efficient, more, dare I say, fun? Well, m maybe more fun, IS more efficient. Ooh, I like that. Right. So this week, we are diving into the world of AI-powered note-taking. Mm. Specifically, a new feature from Google's Notebook LM uh, okay. that has got people talking. Yeah, and for good reason. This isn't just, you know, your typical note organizer. Okay, so what is it? So imagine this. Instead of just, you know, pages and pages of bullet points from your research. Right, right. You get to listen to a podcast-style discussion. Okay. About your notes. Right. But here's the twist. The hosts are AI. Okay, hold on. Yeah. AI podcast hosts. That's not where I saw this going. It's called audio overview. Whoa. And basically you feed your notes into this notebook LM. Right. And it creates this whole conversation oh. between two AI voices complete with like the mm -mm and the little pauses, you know, like a real podcast. Yeah. Like they're designed to be friendly and engaging. So it's like having a couple of AI study buddies. Exactly. Just hashing out the key takeaways from my research. I'm not going to lie. It's a little creepy, no. but it's also brilliant. Yeah. That's what makes this technology so fascinating. Right? Okay, so how does it work? The idea is that, you know, when you listen to this dialogue, you're more likely to remember the information. Right. Because it's just, it's more dynamic, right? Yeah. A more engaging way to process all this stuff. Right. And they've been testing this on all sorts of material. Like what? They even used a blog post about Notebook LM itself. Wait, so they made the AI summarize an article about itself? Yes. That is meta. Very meta. That's wild. But wait, there's more. Okay. They also decided to let this AI loose on the Daily Tech News Show website. Oh, no, really? And uh, let's just say that it did not quite master the art of, like, tech news broadcasting. Oh, no, what happened? It seems that some facts got a little jumbled up. Oh, no. And timing was a little off, apparently. So AI podcast hosts... Not quite ready for prime time, especially when it comes to tech. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, it's a fast-moving field, so yeah. maybe not quite there yet. Right, right. But it really does make you wonder, Fear that. can AI ever truly replace that human touch in podcasts? Right, because we connect with those personalities. Exactly. They want to hear their takes, their insights. And those nuances. Yes. Can AI ever really replicate that? Right. I mean, it makes you wonder, are we like on the verge of a learning revolution here? Yeah. Or is this just another tech fad that's going to fade away? Yeah. You know, it's one thing to sit around and talk about AI summarizing articles. Sure. But I kind of had to see this audio overview thing in action myself. Oh, so you took it for a test drive. I did. I did. Did you feed it? Well, you know, if this AI wants to be a tech podcaster, I figured I'd better take a crack at DTNS. Ooh, bro. Yeah, so I fed it this week's newsletter okay. and some articles from the website. Okay, so did it did it capture that signature DTNS wit? It did not. Oh no. No. It did not. Really? It was more like, you know when you hear someone yeah. trying to repeat a news story right. that they heard third hand from somebody? Oh, like they got the details all mixed yeah. up. The details were a little, yeah. How so? Give me an example. Okay, so like it summarized it did like a whole summary okay. of an article about a new gadget. Right. But it put that part before it ever mentioned the company that made the gadget. Oh, wow. Like I was just supposed to know. Right, like we'd already talked about it. Like, Ugh. yeah, hello, context. <laughs> Chronology is not this thing's strong suit. It can't quite connect how the information all fits together yet. It's like, it reminds me of those early attempts at like machine translation. Oh, okay. Where it was like technically correct, right. but just missing all of the nuance. Yes, exactly. And, you know, beyond just like, getting some facts jumbled. Right. It just couldn't replicate the feel yeah. of DTNS. It was trying to be conversational. Right. But it felt very forced, you know? Yeah, like it had studied the form. Yes. But not the substance. Exactly. Yeah. And it just makes you wonder, like, yeah. can AI ever get those subtle elements of, like, yeah. style and tone totally. that make human communication so distinct? Is that something inherently human? Is that, yeah. like, can you train that? Yeah, like, I mean, could it ever tell the difference between, like, a dry research paper right. and, you know, a witty op-ed. 
Yeah. And then adjust its delivery accordingly. Yeah. And is that something we would even want it to do? Oh, that's a good point. Right. Because a part of what we enjoy about podcasts, right, is that authenticity. Yes. It's, it's like we're connecting with these hosts, their personalities. Yeah. So where does all of this leave us? Yeah. Like, is there even room in the future of learning for both? For both. What? You know, like AI study buddies. Right. But also, like, that human connection that we crave, you know? Oh, for sure. For sure. Like, I don't think this has to be an either or situation. Okay, so what are you thinking? Okay, so picture this. Okay. You're working on a presentation. Okay, I'm looking at Big presentation, you got to read all this research. Oh, so much research. Right, and instead of having to go through it all yourself, highlight everything, uh -huh. spend hours. You could use AI okay. to just pull out the key takeaways, okay. maybe even like give you some talking points. So I'm saving like hours of time. Exactly. And brain power. Right, and then you're not spending all night trying to like cram in every single little detail yeah. right you can actually focus on like making it your own yes right you can craft your own narrative yes the human touch there it is so it's almost like it becomes this tool it is a tool to make my brain better not replace it right it amplifies our abilities it doesn't replace them i love that it's about understanding what this technology can and cannot do right and then using it strategically yes be smart right we have to be active in this process, you know? We can't just passively sit back and let the AI tell us everything. Exactly. We're not just consumers here. We're participants. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. Participants in our own learning. Yes. It's like having, I don't know, it's like having a really, really smart assistant. Right. Who can handle all of the, like, grunt work. Yeah. But I'm still the one in charge. Yes. You're the CEO of your own learning. Ooh, Yes. I love that. I'm, I'm going to use that. Go for it. The CEO of my own learning. Love it. So, I mean, all of this is super interesting, but I'm curious, like, for you, what stands out? Mm, that's a good question. From this whole AI note-taking thing. Yeah. Is this something you're going to try? You know, I think it has incredible potential. Okay. Especially, you know, for people like us. Right. We're drowning in information. Right, and it just keeps coming. It never stops. It never stops. But I think what's really important here is that, you know, this is a tool. Right. It's not a solution. Okay. Learning is about more than just memorizing a bunch of stuff. Yes. It's about understanding it, connecting it to other things, you know, being able to use it. Right. Make it mean something. Exactly. Couldn't have said it better myself. I think we made a pretty good team. I think so, too. Even if one of us might be a robot in the future. Who knows? <laughs> well, that's a thought to leave everyone with. Right. Thanks for joining us for this deep dive. And remember, keep those minds curious, keep exploring, and we'll see you next time.